Jerry Sandusky's fate now rests in the hands of 12 jurors. They must weigh the prosecution's argument that Sandusky sexually abused 10 boys against the defense's contention that the case is the result of overzealous investigators overcoaching witnesses who want a big payout. ABC's TJ Winnick is in Belfont, Pennsylvania with the latest. After 50 witnesses and 30 hours of testimony, Jerry Sandusky's fate is in the hands of the jury. They got the case at 10 past 1 this afternoon after closing statements by both sides. During an impassioned argument that lasted over an hour, defense attorney Joe Amendola talked about how the alleged victim stories changed and how some were out to make money and how police coached witnesses. I will tell you, if he did this, he should rot in jail for the rest of his life, Amendola said. But what if he didn't do it? His life is destroyed. What the defense is, of course, trying to do is raise reasonable doubt. Um, so how do you do that? You give motives, you suggest motives to the jury of, and reasons why they shouldn't believe uh, the accusers. Lead prosecutor Joseph McGettigan then got his turn, ending his argument with a flourish, recalling the 10 alleged victims, eight of whom testified during the past two weeks. Look at the evidence, he said, standing right behind Sandusky. You can't give them back their souls. He knows he did it. Give them justice and give him the justice he really deserves. Find him guilty. I think what he was saying is you don't have to be afraid of this man. You don't have to worry about his evil. Do what you have to do. The jury will now grapple with 48 charges after two more counts were dropped this morning by the judge due to a lack of corroboration. Nine of the 12 have some connection to Penn State. Four work or retired from campus. There are two graduates and one still in school there. Another is a Penn State football season ticket holder. Jurors have been sequestered while they deliberate and will be throughout the weekend if need be. T.J. Winnick, ABC News, Belfont, Pennsylvania.